Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 290. Well, we're stuck inside. Weather's not too good. Can't listen to my radios. And I thought I'd show you a website that comes in handy that was shown to me about a month or two ago when we were, a friend of mine who's a fellow YouTuber, we're looking for weather conditions, you know, because um, and listening to shortwave radio just wasn't too good. So I'm going to show you that website that he showed me, and we'll show what we showed. So did you get that? Okay, here we go. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going, I think I got cabin fever, and I'm not even in a cabin. But anyway, here is the website. It's called weatherspark.com and it's not too old I don't know how old it is maybe three or four months six months old but here's the page you get when you first go to it and I don't remember because I've um, been there a number of times if you have to uh, put in your location or it detects that just don't remember but um if you want, if it doesn't give you your location, you can go up to the search bar and search on your location. So here's my location in Clearwater, Florida. And here's what's causing all the problems. Is. And let me zoom out to show you how bad it really is. Could be worse. But <clears throat> this is what they're telling us to expect for the next two days, at least, is rain, 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 rain. So that's that's that situation. So that gives you a good representation. And you can turn on some things, like I've turned on the temperature, so you can see the temperatures on this map. And then over on this side is the, um, the temperature map of both past and present. So the bar right here is where we're at right now at about, yeah, it's about 9.30. And then you can show, see that this is what the temperature is going to do over the day. And uh, like the wind conditions, what they're predicting the wind conditions will be over the day. And uh, it's come averages, that's the kind of the gray line. A lot of valuable information and a lot of historical information. For instance, um, we can go to one of these other pages, and there's a whole bunch of pages. Um, we can go to forecast. Let's see what that shows. Okay, here's a forecast for St. Petersburg, which is just down the road from me. And it shows today uh, mostly cloudy rain, thunderstorms, blah, 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 blah. It's just, oh, it's terrible. Tomorrow, ah, huh? bad, 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 bad. I guess it's even going to go down to 76, where the high two days ago was 90. Now we're going down to 76. And, of course, all this affects listening to your radios. And, of course, if you want to broadcast, it really affects it. So it's always good to find a good location about weather information. And here's... I'm not sure what this is. Distance to storm. Hmm. Yeah, what is this? Oh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of... Okay, looks interesting, but I'm not going to go through that right now. Gosh, look at, look at all this stuff. Averages, and we'll pick Florida, for, for instance. And we'll pick... And eh, clear water is not very uh, exciting, so they don't have clear water in here. But St. Pete is close by. Looks like this is kind of at mostly at airports. Okay, we'll pick St. Pete Clearwater Airport. That's not too far away. And a ton of information. Temperature averaging over the past year. Sun, daylight hours over the two. Boy, this is this is more information than I can even take in. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Precipitation. 
So you can see during the uh, summer here we get a lot of rain. Prob this is probability of participation. Excuse me, precipitation. <sighs> I'm not even using Mr. Finger and I'm screwing up, so I can't blame it on him. And humidity. Gosh, just there's tons of information. So anyway, I wanted to show you this website. <clears throat> Let me go back to the home page. Where did the home page go? Where did the home page? There we go. I'll click on this. Ah, there's where you can put in uh, where you want. So this is the home home page, which since I've already been there several times, it didn't take me there. So you can click on the dashboard, which is what I was on originally, and I'll do a search. And there's, I'm back to Clearwater, and I'm back to the uh, prediction and status. Oh, here's a nice, I like, this is, I like this feature. It kind of shows you how long conditions are going to stay. So it's like, okay, <clears throat> up until, <clears throat> excuse me, 10 or 11 o'clock tonight, it's going to be raining or thunderstorms, and then it goes into light rain, and then more thunderstorms through Saturday. Not very good. And also, you can click on these two guys here to expand either one. So, like, if I click on this one, it will move this map here away, and I get the full radar. Plus, I can use this arrow down here to show me a clip of the weather conditions and as you can see it's raining 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 and then I can stop that and I can bring that other page back I can bring there we go or I can get rid of the weather the radar weather and show a bigger page of these predictions and History. So here's history back here, and you can use the zero down here to scroll the history. And it even shows the little arrows of what the wind, wind direction was. Yeah, I'm getting cabin fever, that's for sure. And then these are the predictions. And you can see that by Sunday it should clear up, and Monday will be a nice day. Kind of cool. And then you got forecast, daily, quarterly, year, averages, all this, tons of information. So anyway, um, the website is weatherspark.com. Uh, it's a brand new website, still marked as beta. And I think you can uh, get a lot of information for this uh, pertaining to even your shortwave listing or radio transmissions and what the weather is going to be like in the future so you can plan things like I did this past week. But of course earlier in the week I, I saw the weather is what it was going to be and unfortunately their prediction was correct. So that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Now where is that button that I stopped the recording? Oh, here it is.